everything that could have changed within a few weeks in our lives changed, didn't it? Like, yeah. it all just came at once, slaps in the face. <laughs> Someone's birthday today. I'm 21 today. Yes, I am. <laughs> My birthday. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Nervous. I always get really nervous for a scan. Always, 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 always. But I think I kind of like being as nervous after this one. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Not too bad. Excited again to see little. Oh, I just got water in my eyeball. Little Bean. I'm uh, wearing maternity jeans because <coughs> I'm too fat to fit in anything else. And the maternity, well, not maternity top, but it's just bigger for me. I wish I had fit in anything, it makes me a bit depressed. Nice. I always forget to drink water before the appointment and have a full bladder. And I'm trying down some water now. Good lord. No. Hey. Ah. What? Looks not like that with me. <laughs> why, why are you falling at me? Why don't you like me? Because you're like, why are you so close to the cab? <laughs> I'm not sat in the middle of the road. You think you're bloody on the pad. <laughs> on oh. the pad? On the pad. The, pad. the pavement there. <laughs> sat on the pad. Do you hate me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Stop commenting. Look, that lorry's got his bloody <laughs> ladder hanging out. Don't shout at him, do you? Confrontation. The act of confronting or challenging another, especially face to face. <laughs> God. <laughs> One thing you'll lose to learn about me and Luke is we hate each other's driving. You can't drive. I admit I'm a bad driver. You think you're bloody Formula One racer, you do, and then. <laughs> like you wanna tell you, you can't drive! What are you swerving you... into him for? You do, you're bloody you... near him. The other day, you nearly hit somebody on the pavement. Well, I don't drive on the pavement. You do nearly I? did. You swerved towards him. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go. Just, Thanks, just... mate. Yeah, good one. Road rage. Lock up the old bloody roundabout. I'm gonna go because he's a bit mad at me. <laughs> Watch me be a You okay? Yeah. Okay. We're here! We made it without killing any pedestrians. Just. So I'm, I'm telling you, he swerved in someone. Nearly. Anyway, <laughs> before we start arguing again, we're here. I just wanted to let you guys know, and we'll update you when we're finished. Fingers crossed everything's okay. I think we're going to be a bit longer on this one, because we're doing all the tests and stuff, and yeah. So, yeah. See you on the other side. Bye. Bye. We are back. Scan went well. We'll explain everything a little bit later. Luke is chefing. What are you making, Mick? My signature. Ham, cheese, and free egg omelette. Free egg omelette. Treated me, I'm gonna eat it. Bloody lovely. No, thanks. Yeah, make your lovely omelette, and you. Oh, I've got mayo. Smothering everyone. mayonnaise. Everything's got to be smothered in mayonnaise. Are we doing a taste test? Taste test. Lovely. Very good, thank you. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Omelette master. Bonus. Okay. Okay, so we just got back from the scan. Everything's all good, wasn't it? Very good, very it, positive. Yeah, just we had the, well, we say a 12 week scan. They booked us in for when they thought it would be 12 weeks, but we're actually only 11 weeks and two days, so we're 12 weeks on Saturday. This will probably be uploaded like two days before. Um, but yeah, so 11 weeks and two days, and very happy. Everything's all healthy and all good. It was flip. I say he. I keep calling him he. We don't know. Yeah, but I've just I've got a feeling. The bean. The the bean. The bean. The bean. It's flipping. Was it? It's just laid there, and all of a sudden it just started flipping around. She said, "Oh, we need some more movement from him," and then he just went. She. It. <laughs> they. Went. <laughs> 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 Literally did that. Yeah. It's not. We honestly we don't know the gender. We just keep calling it he. 
But yeah, so that was all good. The only thing is my blood group. So I'm... I can never pronounce it. Rhesus negative. Oh, Rhesus D negative. Something Rhesus. like that. Something like that. General Rhesus <laughs> of <laughs> Star Wars. I have not watched Star Wars. I'm not here. Um, so yeah, because I'm that blood group, they've got basically check the baby's blood and all this stuff, all this jazz. Um, but yeah, so that's not anything too bad, but they can fix it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you might need an injection. I might need an injection if the baby's blood is positive because I'm negative. It's just something to do with my, my blood type. It's a bit dodge. <laughs> it's just, I'm just a bit just dodge. A bit dodge. Um, it's perfectly normal. It's quite common. It's quite common. Like my mum had it because she used the same glove. 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 Blood group. <laughs> my mum's the same blood group as I am, but my sisters were different, so that she had to have it done with both of those. So yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, just explain everything that's happened because we we would have only just put the announcement out a few days ago. Um, and yeah, just explaining what the hell's happened. Mental. Mental. So. We're pregnant, obviously. Obviously he's pregnant. It's growing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it wasn't planned at all, was it? No. It was a huge Accident. shock. He actually noticed before I did. Because you missed your period and then I thought, this is a bit dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Take a test. There's a bit more to it than that. That was it. Oh, not really. Well, yeah. Yeah. Basically, so I was late for my period. I was late for my period, um, norm I say normally, like the past five months of that time I'd been bang on every month, hadn't I, like on my due, due date, whatever you call it, the day that you joined period, um, but before that I was always late, so I never thought anything of it, I just thought um, my periods are getting messed up again, um, I started to have like really sore boobs, that was pretty much it, but I always get that from a period anyway, so I didn't suspect anything. Luke was literally like Molly. He was going. He went. He said it a few days, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. Molly, can you just do a test? Put my mind at ease. <laughs> so I did. Didn't expect the result back. I went into major panic mode. But then he, you went into major breakdown mode. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Like, I think it's just because it was such a shock. I couldn't really process anything that was going on because I was too busy sorting him out because he was a mess. No. Right. <laughs> you explain it then. I just didn't know what to do. <laughs> it was... Didn't want to tell anyone. So I kept it inside. I didn't eat for three days. And my arsehole was like a black hole. <laughs> 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 it just kept coming out. I have this thing called anxiety poos. Yes. And it happens all the time. Yeah. And I was really anxious until... I told my parents, and then I was alright. I think that was your already worry, really, with yeah. telling your parents, but they were absolutely over the moon, and yeah. they've been amazing throughout the whole thing. Couldn't ask yeah. for a better reaction, really, could we? No. But we say, like, obviously we were really anxious, didn't know what to do, terrified, blah, blah, blah. But we're still happy. Like, I don't have to explain it. We, we were over that in the first couple of days, and then we started getting excited. And we told... We told more people than we should have in the first 12 weeks, didn't we, really? Yeah, only important people though. Yeah, so we told... Doesn't mean they no, went told you you're not important. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so like we told... I told my mum straight away because I just didn't know what to do. Um, you woke her up. I did. I came home from work and I woke her up to tell her. Um, I, just, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do. We told our parents, your brother, my sister, my best friend. That was pretty much it, wasn't it? I my two yeah. other friends as well. Um... So we told like a select group of people, but after we, once we started telling more people, it it was just such more of a relief, wasn't it? It felt so much better. We were everybody was we didn't have a bad reaction. Well, we won't talk about that. We had one bad reaction. We won't talk about that. Um, but yeah, no. Other than that, everyone was amazing, weren't they? They were yeah. brilliant. <clears throat> um, so yeah, after like, the first few days, you were fine after that, weren't you? you you've been amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite like excited and laid back about it all really honestly like oh, I don't know how to explain it from where I was to what I am now is completely different like 
Three months ago, you were not having kids. No. Never having kids. Don't want kids. Don't want never kids. kids. Um, I've al I've always wanted kids. Not right now, but I've always wanted kids. The, his reaction, I did not expect it. I did not expect him to be happy, excited, planning. Like he's so interested in everything. Like all the scams he's interested in. And everything about because the baby. it's cool. It, every scam I go to, that is so, so cool. cool. Let's see it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's his impression of the baby. Yeah. Sorry, but no, yeah. uh, like I could not have asked for him to be any more supportive or happy or anything really. You've just made it so much easier. Thanks. Thanks. Someone has to. Sure. I'm, I'm over the moon. Scared, over, but over the moon. Um, well, this is all going on and then she said to me, you need to get a new job. Something oh, you're yeah. happy doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it, this was before, wasn't it? This was like a couple of days before. A couple of days before we actually found out, I said, look, because we weren't going too much detail, but he wasn't happy where he was working. Um, I said, look, even if you're taking a, like, a pay cut or anything, yeah. it doesn't matter, just, just go find a job that you want to do and that you're happy with. All you need to be is happy. So I go. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went for an interview on a Friday and he offered me the job and I said, yeah, I can start within two weeks. And then that was it, and this ha happened, and yeah. Literally, like you having, you had a new job, and then found out we were having baby ones for like a week, didn't you? Yeah. I I was I knew that I was leaving where I was. I stayed at the same company, but going to a different place, all within the same few weeks, and it, everything. It's on the that, same day, wasn't it? We both moved. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everything that could have changed within a few weeks in our lives changed, didn't it? Like yeah. it all just came. At once, just slaps in the face. But no, we're, we're good though, aren't we? Yeah. We're uh, looking at getting a mortgage, aren't we? Just got to sort a few things out regarding credit scores and things like that. Um, just to get us moved out, we. Yeah, that's it really. We're, we're just going to move out. It could be. It could be, yeah. yeah. It could be within these nine months, well, say nine months, three months. Six now, months. Next six months, or it could be a month or two after the baby's born. If that happens, we will. Be at my parents, won't we? You won't be. I'll be at my parents. Yeah. No, Luke's more than welcome to stay over. I'm not going to force him to move in. Um, but obviously I know he would anyway. He'd just be over all the time. Yeah. But we're hoping that mortgage and everything goes through before there's nine months and we're out anyway. So, not that it's bad to here. Do you know what I mean? Just want our own space. We just, yeah, we want... Yeah. Our, both of our parents have been absolutely amazing, supportive. They've just been great. We just want our own space, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I could not ask for somebody to be any better than how Luke has been. He's been supportive, exciting, excited, excited. So, I wasn't. Oh, he, honestly, yeah. like the th it was only the first two days, wasn't it? Two to three days. Um, you was a mess. Not a mess. He weeks. was not really. It was Until like, it sunk in properly, yeah. Yeah, but the first three days was bad. Like I thought, I just tell me if you don't. Like, I'll cut this bit out if you don't want me to tell me. Um, it got to the point like he was that bad for the first few days that I turned around and said, "If you want to leave, you can leave." Yeah. And he didn't like because my point of view is nobody, male or female, nobody should be forced to be a parent. As well as nobody should be forced to have an abortion. Nobody should be forced to do anything. So because it's twenty twenty one, people don't just have sex all the time for babies, do they? They do it for pleasure. <laughs> and I'm sorry for and that obviously we didn't plan this, so I don't I don't think it's right that somebody should be dragged in to be a parent when they didn't plan on. So I gave him the option to walk away because he was that much of a mess. But he said, "No, this is my baby. I'm saying." And you've been after those two days. You've been amazing. You want that mode already? It got me daddy slipping off. <laughs> Them bad boys. They are crackers. Yeah. But you know, honestly, I could not have asked for a better reaction. Anybody more like supportive? It's been amazing. So thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> if there's anybody out there who has had an unplanned, unplanned pregnancy, they don't know what to do, they feel alone, that kind of thing, we just want to make sure that, just to reassure everybody that it's okay no matter what you choose to do. And the amount of support you get that you think you wouldn't is amazing. Yeah, like I thought my mum would be mad. Yeah. My mum, my mum's always been the type, she'll be there for you no matter what. But I thought she'd be like a bit 
forgot to take Molly a while, wasn't any more careful, but she was happy. Your parents were. Yeah. Uh, your parents were fine. Yeah. That's pretty much it, really. So if anybody is out there and is in the same situation, who needs any support, we are here. And it is tough at first, but then, obviously, no matter what you decide, your choice, but what obviously what we chose, once everything's set in... Will you stop? I can't be serious. I every I'm time serious. on camera. But what was I saying? Yeah, so the, what we chose after a few weeks, it settled in, realised what was going on, what's happening. We were fine, aren't we? Yeah. Excited, happy, just wanna, just wanna get there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of baby content coming up, which again, there's, which is why I have been so quiet. I've not been on any social media. I've not been on YouTube, nothing, because I've just been trying to sort my life out, pretty much. And now that's sorted. So you'll be hearing a lot more from me. There'll be baby vlogs. There'll be scans. We've done like a vlog of all the scans, haven't we? Just, only short ones. Yeah. Only short ones, but like just literally, I put all the scans together. It's more so like we uh, we can look back and we can see everything that we've done and the baby when they're older they can look back and see when it was in my tummy. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my tummy. No, it just looks like it's in your tummy. It does. No, I'm <laughs> joking. Um, but yeah, so there'll be more vlogs. If you've got any questions, just comment down below. If you need us, private messages. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.